guys if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about acceptance testing and its levels like alpha and beta level testing so acceptance testing is the highest level in software development life cycle guys uh, highest level of testing uh, so we have uh, different levels of testing like unit level testing integration level testing system level testing and this is the highest level which is acceptance testing so if you haven't watched uh, watch those videos like uh, unit testing integration testing and system level testing then please go uh, and watch those videos i have provided the link in the description box of this video guys and then come back to this video so this is the highest level of testing and this is also called UAT user acceptance testing guys. So let's talk about uh, more about acceptance testing in detail. So before I move towards the theoretical stuff like what do you mean by UAT and what is alpha testing, what is beta testing and what are their advantages. Let me just explain you like what is acceptance testing or UAT testing and why do we need it. Uh, UAT testing and how do we perform this UAT testing so let's get started so take an example guys we are working for this company so this is our software development company we are working for a software development company and this is the customer which we are dealing with now this customer wants to have a software uh, they want to get build a software from our company so our, they requested our company to build a software for their clients so what they will do they they have given their requirements in the form of customer requirement specification now what our company will do our BAs business analyst work with uh, their requirements work with client or customer and get the requirement in the form of CRS and BR, BR, uh, BA will convert them into different uh, documents for our company's understanding like we have software requirement specification we have functional requirement specification or we have business requirement document this is just for our understanding a PA will convert them into different documents which we have already spoken about at the time of software development life cycle now what our company will do now we got the requirement and will develop a software Will develop a software or application for customer and uh, once uh, we have to follow the software development life cycle correct we have followed the software development life cycle to build this software like we have requirement analysis we have feasibility study we have design coding now when we talk about testing we have performed different testing we have done unit testing we have integration testing we have system testing now we need to perform the highest level of testing which is acceptance testing so how do we do this acceptance testing and why do we need acceptance testing so what happens is whenever we build a software customer wants to have a final look of the software like how the functionality is how the workflow is how the interface is and how the feature what are the features they have included they have included as per our requirement or not so this is what the customer wants to do the UAT so this is one of the reasons they because they are paying uh, they are paying for this uh, software right they are paying to our company to have the software to get the software so they want to have a final look of the software they want to review it so that is the reason they want to do the UAT testing that is user acceptance so based on that they will accept the software they will accept the application now user acceptance uh, another reason could be so whatever documents we have written over here we have gathered the requirement from the customer that might be misunderstood by our developer while developing the software software by our development team, uh, development team and testing team while uh, developing the software and testing the software so that is uh, that could be another another reason uh, customer wants to review the software whether they have captured all the requirement or not they have uh, implemented all the, all those requirements as per our ex expectations or not whether the design is uh, design uh, whatever they have designed in the application uh, that fulfill our uh, expectations or not that is the reason customer wants to 
to the UAT testing. So in most of the companies, guys, uh, we have pre UAT and post UAT, and in some companies we do only UAT testing. So pre UAT. So here we have pre UAT, and this is also called alpha testing. Alpha, and at customer end we do beta testing, and this is called post UAT. Post UAT. So now we'll do the pre UAT testing. We'll create a test plan, pre UAT test plan, scenarios, and test cases, and with our testers and BAs uh, involved in this pre UAT test. And we'll do the pre UAT test at our end alpha or alpha testing at developers end. So this is development company guys. So our in testing environment will do the pre UAT testing. Now, if everything goes well, then we pass the pre UAT test. Otherwise, if we get any defect, then we'll get it fixed by the development team and we'll release the software to the customer for beta testing or post UAT testing. Now they will perform at their end. Uh, this is real uh, real time environment guys raised real time environment or staging environment just like production so this is production environment so it will just it will be just like production environment so they will execute some real time scenarios they have their own uh, testing team there including bas uh, so they will perform the post uat testing so they have set of uh, uat test cases and they will execute those test cases now if they are not happy with some of the requirements which we have developed so they will revert it back or if they get any uat defects so they will revert it back to our development team now we'll uh, redevelop those uh, functionalities or uh, requirements from the customer or suppose they have missed uh, some requirements from while giving the crs at the time of initial requirement given uh, giving the uh, while giving the at the time of initial requirement if they missed some requirement so they will add while doing the uat and they will revert it to the development team now we'll redevelop all those requirements and we'll revert it back to the customer uh, again now again they will do they will execute their uh, post uat test cases or beta level test testing they will perform now if everything goes well they will release the software into production with and they will release the software to their customer, their own clients. So this is how it is uh, happening, guys. The acceptance testing or UAT testing. So as I have told, like some companies, they are following pre UAT and post UAT, which is called alpha testing and beta testing. And in some companies, we used to do only UAT at at customer end. So this is all about acceptance testing, guys. Now let's talk about. Uh, like theoretical stuff and what is alpha testing exactly and what are the different advantages of alpha and beta testing so let's move on to the next slide so after testing is completely uh, completed by tester before deploying the application into production business user will conduct testing to ensure the application is working as per their requirement or not called acceptance testing which we have discussed this is a type of testing done by users, customers, or other authorized entities to determine application software needs and business process. So this is done at our end, which is developers end, which is called alpha testing. Another way to do UAT is if they release their software to their own customers. So we can do the UAT at their end as well. They will perform the UAT at their end as well. So that is another way to do the UAT testing. Software testing where a system is tested for acceptability. So whether to accept that software or not. So that is evaluate using this UAT testing. So what are the different levels of acceptance testing guys? So we have discussed, we have two levels, alpha test or pre UAT, beta test or post UAT. So here you can see alpha testing and beta testing advantages of acceptance testing so reduces the risk of defects being identified in production it increases the satisfaction of clients as they test application itself increasing software robustness and usability and increase end user happiness so these are the different advantages of doing acceptance testing guys now let's talk about alpha test alpha testing is conducted in the development company 
which we have already spoken about. Alpha tests are carried out early in the development process by internal staff. Project manager teams up with the developer to define a specific goal for alpha testing. Testing is conduct in test environment. So this is what we have spoken about. Testing is done by testers and quality analyst. So quality analyst is nothing but the business analyst and some QA group is also there and testers with the help of them will do the UAT testing. We have uh, will create certain test plan and uh, scenarios and test cases as well to perform pre UAT testing. Testing is conduct for application and product. So what are the advantages of alpha testing or pre UAT guys? So it helps to uncover bugs that can pose a serious threat. It helps to deliver good quality software beta for beta testing. So during this is uh, this this testing the real world behavior of the users and the environment is lim limited. Correct. Right? So we'll try to imitate the real world scenarios. So what is beta test? Testing is conducted at customer location. Beta testing is one of the final steps in your uh, software development lifecycle before a product goes live. Beta testing is performed by the real users of the software application in real environment. So this is what I have, we have discussed so far. Uh, at the beginning, we have discussed. Beta testing allows a company to test post-launch infrastructure. Advantages of beta testing or post UAT. Direct feedback from customer is major advantage of beta testing. So we'll get the direct feedback from the customer like what uh, what exactly they want to have uh, change in the software reduces product failure risk via customer validation improves product quality via customer feedback so yeah this is all about uh, acceptance testing guys so if you have any questions please write in the comment box of this video and uh, please like it share it and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the uh, upcoming interesting videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye